Happy Valentine's Day, fellows and ladies. It is time to review Magic Mike's Last Dance. This movie is the final film in the Magic Mike trilogy. And this one is about Mike, who is a male dancer who takes his clothes off and shows off his beefy abs. And he's taken to, I believe, London with Selma Hayek's character. And they need to put on a big show to save the theater or whatever the fuck. I liked the first one a lot. Uh, You know, it it was like, you know, it was exciting. Yet there was like a nice little, it was a griminess to it that like made it almost charming. I wasn't in love with the second one story wise, but this one, you know, Soderbergh's back in the seat. He does a good job overall. However, the writing fails it. I just, there was no, first of all, it, it just comes, like like I said, the first one has like a almost charming grittiness. This movie feels polished a little too much. It's not enough like, like wooing, you know what I mean? Like, this if I to say, there's not a lot of male stripping in it. And, you know, it's weird for me as a straight dude to be like, you know, could there be more male stripping in it? But the, could there be more male stripping in this? Instead, it was this plot of the 2011 Muppets movie that kind of made me just not care. I just didn't care about what the stakes going on. I didn't think, like, you know, when it got to it's like a big emotional climax, I just was not there. Jenning Tatum and Sama Hayek are really good actors, and they're really good here. I just, I didn't buy their relationship for a second. Like, they, they were supposed to have, like, this sexual tension, and I just didn't buy it. I just didn't buy into it at all. Which is a, a crucial aspect of this movie, by the way. Like, you kind of need me to buy that, and I didn't. And worst of all, this movie just kind of moved at a laborious, slog- sluggish pace that I was, like, ready to leave the theater. I was like, no, I'm going to stick it out, obviously. But, like, I'm ready to go. And it was, like, 20 minutes in. Like, the final act was, like, the, the show, like, which is a big, long strip show. And, like, I don't know. It was fine. It was entertaining. Again, I just, like, I'm, like, you know, I'm a straight dude, so I'm not, like, going, like, yeah, Dale's taking their shirts off, despite what I said earlier. But, you know, it could have had this emotional impact on me. Like, could have had, like, this big, like, yes, we're doing it. We're going to save the theater and shit. But I just I felt nothing instead of just watching guys take their shirts off. Also, Magic Mike's last dance, the actual dance itself, is ripped straight from the season 13 finale of Always Sunny in Philadelphia when Matt comes out to his dad. Like, to a T, to the point where the dancer, like, the female dancer, and both are the same dancer. I swear to God, look that shit up. This movie, also, this movie has, like, these weird, like, fucking voiceover stuff that just did not work at all. A lot of, like, stuff like that. There was, like, this scene where, like, there was this hyper close-ups, like, of a dinner that didn't work. The movie is just, in general, super anticlimactic. And I just kind of walked out of the theater, kind of going like, yeah, I saw that. I just, I have, I feel nothing. So yeah, overall, Magic Mike's last dance was very, very disappointing. I did not think it was very good. Um, Just kind of, you know, performances aside, it just kind of had a little bit of an anticlimactic feel. Didn't really feel like the proper end to Mike's story. You know, kind of felt like a dud. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and give Magic Mike's last dance a four out of ten. All right, that's the end of that. So like, subscribe, and share. And time for my strip show. Here we go.